Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot of information to go over today in the video as Headliners Team 2, the Team of the Week, SBC's objective cards, a lot of leaks have been taking place and it's mostly around Headliners Team 2 and it's got everybody really looking forward to this upcoming weekend on this game of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team because Headliners, the Team 2 that is leaked looks really, really good and it's causing the market to move a lot. Again, that's why we talk about leaks is because if it moves the market, we need to cover it and we need to realize and talk about why things are dropping in price. We have leaks about a Team of the Week coming today on Wednesday. It's dropping some cards currently on the market and also some cards are flying in price because of links to these leaks. So I also want to take a look at the headliners market from team one. A lot of these headliners cards, I know people are very interested in. Um, I want to take you through some of my thoughts on how I think some of these headliner cards are actually going to rise. You know, they could rise a decent amount out of packs later on this week. Even if team two is really good, headliners almost always rise out of packs because they're alive. They have that win streak and they have the performance-based upgrade you know, live aspect of the card still on them. And a lot of these cards, in my opinion, they're pretty cheap, right? A lot of these headliners are pretty cheap because people aren't as hyped as they were for winter wild cards. So that could potentially make some of them some good investments as we head towards them leaving packs later on this week. So we'll talk about that in this video as well. Of course, yesterday's content with the 84 plus player pick, the Edward SBC, um, and what could happen today on the Wednesday market inside of FIFA 22. So if you're excited to get into it, of course, leave a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's take a look at these leaks, right? Because this is what everybody's talking about right now. I think since the content and since Headliners is not as loved as Winter Wild Cards, there's a lot more people talking about leaks and there's a lot more hype around it. But when you see this team two of Headliners coming Friday, you kind of understand why. And we're gonna look at some, we're gonna look at some confirmed stats as well. Some of these cards actually look really insane. This is definitely a situation where team two is better than team one, in my opinion. So looking through some of these names, Salah, Kimmich, Cancelo, Vinny Jr., Fofana. And again, you're gonna know these two fire symbols here by these two cards. We're gonna look at some confirmed stats again. They're cracked, right? The boosts on these cards are insane. Barella, Trap, Laborde, Rafael Leal. I think that's a cool one. Zapata, Watkins, Joselu, Teate's got a really potential, really good looking card with a big upgrade. Wilson and Elustondo. So it's 15 different players, of course, and 11 dropped in packs, then probably a mini release on uh, Sunday this coming weekend. But again, you the reason why I think that Headliners Team 2, as I see some of these cards leaked and listed here is because yes team one you've got Mbappe yes you have Nkunku you have Koulibaly and Van Dyke and even I would say Reese James and Acuna are pretty dope Nabry is pretty dope Carrasco is dope but like out of this team I mean think about some of the very popular players that you have in FIFA terms this year right Fofana's player of the month You've got the Barella Inform that people absolutely love. Vinicius Jr., need I say more. Cancelo, multiple special cards. Salah, multiple special cards with a player of the month. The team of the group stage card. He's getting another item. You know, even some other sleepers, right? Like Rafael Leal could have a really dope looking card, right? For a Serie A striker or left wing, whatever position he's going to be. Ali Watkins as a Prem striker. Um, I believe this is, I don't know if this is Harry Wilson or if it's Callum Wilson. That kind of depends and, and changes things. Laborde's card, after his player of the month, is probably going to look really good as well. And I want to take a look at some of these confirmed stats because not all these cards are confirmed. But look at this Cancelo, right? A 90 rated Cancelo card. He's a part of the team. Again, these are live cards. Manchester City on a roll in the Premier League. You know, you think that the next four league games, this Cancelo would go to a 91. Surely not too far after that, right? 89 pace, 89 dribble. He is one upgrade away. If you give this guy a plus one or if he gets an inform, you know, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, you're going to break into the 80 physicality, almost 90 passing. This card is uh, insane, right? I know we're on, you know, like the the verge of team of the year and Cancelo is in conversation for a team of the year card. So there's going to be a lot of talk around something like that too. Same with Salah, right? But still, these cards that are dropping this Friday look really, really good. Let's take a look through some more stats. Um, I think Cancelo's special cards really aren't dropping off uh, that much at the moment. If we take a look at like 
Cancelo's team, the group stage, Adam, yeah, he's about the same price, but I think most of that is because all of his cards, except for his gold version, are left back, right? And this is going to be a right back version of Cancelo, which is kind of cool, honestly, to get uh, both sides. So wherever he fits in your team best, you can use him there. But that card looks really, really good. Uh, there's the Cancelo. A couple other cards. This is one that everybody's excited about. Vinny Jr., 88. And we talked about this last week as well. Um, since we saw EA upgrading cards above the player of the months, that's got this Vinicius Jr. looking really, really insane. 99 pace, 94 dribbling, 84 shooting, 82 passing, 78 physical. That's a really nuts looking card. And also to know that this is a live item, this Vinny Jr. is probably going to be pretty expensive. I know a lot of you guys have done the player of the month Vinny Jr. who is coming in at you know 680k. He was cheaper than that. When his SBC was first out, he was in the he was in the 570k range to get this done not too long ago. Um, and you know this card is going to be above that player of the month. And yes, it does have potential to upgrade further. But I think this card might be somewhere around a million coins because again, it's live and it can upgrade based on how they win, based on how he plays, and he is incredibly hot in real life form at the moment. So. That card looks really, really good. He's got 99 pace once again. Um, the dribbling, the shooting, the passing goes even higher. I'm sure he's going to be super duper cracked like all of his other versions are. Salah going to a 93. You've got 94 pace, 94 dribbling, 92 shooting. I mean, this card looks absolutely ridiculous as well. Uh, and that's going to be another live item for Salah. And upgradable as well. Let's go through some more of these stats. Kimmich, 74 pace. Still looks pretty good. Definitely the pace is what you look at and you're like, hmm. This needs like two or three shadows. If you could put multiple chemistry styles on a card, that's kind of what he would need. But that's a pretty good looking card. Um, let's see. This is one that everybody is super duper duper excited about. And this guy is going to be very hyped. He's going to be very hyped. He's going to be very talked about. And he's going to be expensive, right? He's actually just yesterday, I believe, scored two goals in a win uh, for Lens, right? And the combination of this card coming out on the game and a leaked uh Kloss SBC and if you don't know who Kloss is it's these um it's this guy he's got an 84 rated inform evidently he is getting a headliners SBC at some point during the team two promotion so that is obviously a green link to this Fofana card right Fofana Kloss those links this is going to be we've had so many league one seat center mids recently again everybody's hyped about Genduzi right now who's like 245,000 coins and keeps going higher but like this Genduzi, you know, he's going to take a hit when this Fofana comes out. I think this Fofana is going to be like 500,000 coins, maybe even a little bit more. If Nkunku right now is 500,000 coins, I think that with the amount of hype this guy has and how good his player of the month is, if you guys have not seen or not heard, this guy Fofana is an absolutely cracked player of the month card that pros have even used and said that is super duper duper good. Now, just imagine him getting this monstrous stat upgrade to an 88 and having potential to upgrade if he can have some more better performances later on this year. So that card's gonna be expensive. Everybody's gonna be all over that one. You look at this card as well. Now this card right here made a lot of the market move yesterday. And this is what I'm talking about where cards on the market went up in price as links to this Zakaria item. And this is going to be an objective card, right? This is gonna be an objective card for Zakaria, and that's why a lot of this stuff went up. That would be the two best objectives back to back in this game, in my opinion. If you take a look at Zakaria and, of course, the Felipe Anderson, which has, um, of course, is still out right now in this game. So, cards that went up yesterday because of this, and Babu, both versions of the versus and Babu, the ice and the fire versions, went up a ton. Like the, I actually had fire and Babu, which I'm trying to find right now. Yeah, there he is, 130,000 coins. I actually had like three of these on my transfer list and I had them listed up at 117k because I bought him on Monday for 99,000 coins because I knew that he got a little bit low and he usually sells I mean between 115 and 120 so I bought him at 99k and what happened yesterday is people saw this leak they went out and they rash invested in this Mbabu card because it's one of the only links to Zakaria 
and Ababa went from 100,000 coins. He actually exploded up to about 150k. Now he's back down around 130. The ice version of Mbaba, which is the lesser um, valued version, went from about 75, 79, like 80,000 coins all the way up to like 110. And right now he's chilling at 105. So that's probably the biggest point of the market that moved a lot yesterday on this game. Now, let's say you bought some Mbabus, right? And you know, these Mbabus, they could go a little bit higher. We have a few days until this promo is released and there's people still going to be talking about these objectives and stuff here's what i'm talking about and here's what i want to say about investing in the leaks right if you're investing in mbabus or maybe you bought like briel and bolo right the swiss bundesliga striker also went up because that's a green link to zakaria i mean there's a lot of people that went out and bought this stuff up yes it could go a little bit higher but also if you think about the fofana and the Kloss sbc that is coming soon you have some major competition for, you know, this Mbabu card. People are going to get hyped about Zakaria, yes, but also at the same time, they're going to get hyped about a Kloss SBC and um, potentially the Fofana card that is out in packs as well. So if you bought these Mbabus at like 120 or less, if this guy before Friday is upwards of like 150,000 coins, which he very well could be, and maybe if like the ice card is like 120K, then I would heavily consider taking the cash and selling in the hype because um, you've got Cancelo as a right back in this upcoming team. You've got Klaus coming up. So I know this Mbabu is like the Bundesliga right back that people would use. All I'm trying to say is I, I would just use some caution with this card because a lot of people have invested. And unless, you know, we have seen some of these cards, like if you remember Cornette and you remember stuff like that, some of these links to the leaked players have gone up in price after the card has been dropped. Um, but, you know, with other right backs coming out and, you know, a lot of investing happening on this Mbabu card, I'm right now, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, try to catch an undercut. If I see like 120 something on this card, I'm probably going to pick it up because I think he can go to like 140, 150 later on this week if nothing else crazy comes out. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Ababu. Selling in the hype is 100% the safe play. And nine times out of 10, that's what I'm going to recommend because that is the safe play. Then you get your coins, no risk. You don't have to worry about how EA puts out the objective if they make it super hard to do. Even though it's leaked that it's a very easy Zakaria objective, you never know. So that was the biggest leak yesterday, right? The Fofana card and the Zakaria card were 100% the biggest leaks from yesterday. Everybody was talking about this and that's what made the market move the most. Now, one more thing to talk about with leaks and stuff and then we'll be kind of done with it for today and talk about some other things. There's been movements on the market because of team of the week today as well. Conte's informs are dropping in price big time because he has got a new inform coming today on the market. Uh, if we take a look at the Conte 91, um, he is down. He's 435,000 coins. He was 500k yesterday. The leaks came out and he's really just been dropping ever since. And one thing that people are a little bit worried about with this upcoming team of the week is the compensation, right? Remember the compensation that we're still waiting on? EA Sports tweeted yesterday. Well, before we get into that, Conte, Phil Foden, PK, Schmeichel, Angel Correa, those are all confirmed cards to be in the uh, team of the week that is coming today. But the one reason that people are a little bit worried about this upcoming team of the week and why they might be selling that Conte 91 is because they expect the compensation pretty soon and that compensation to happen during this brand new team of the week that gets released today. And that means that there's going to be a ton of packs opened for the brand new team of the week that drops today on FIFA. So this is EA's update yesterday. They said, update, we are continuing to identify impacted players and are aiming to message them in-game by the end of this week. So that tells me, hopefully, honestly, I'm hoping that before this happens before Friday, because if it doesn't happen before Friday, that means that the brand new cards from Headliners Team 2 are going to get a lot of extra supply from those compensated packs. And that's going to be a very interesting point of the market uh, to, to watch. But um, sometime around the end of this week, right? That's kind of what we were expecting. It's, it, we knew it was going to take them a while. So we're still waiting on that time frame, waiting on when it's going to happen. But whatever, whenever this compensation gets dropped again, everything that is in packs at that time is going to get hit in price. So that's our update about the giving packs back 
situation uh, right now on this game. And I think that's why there's some people that are selling some of these cards a little bit extra. Like Foden, of course, is in Team of the Week. Foden's Rule Breakers was like 260, 270,000 coins. He's back up a bit, a little um, now. But he was down, he did drop to like 240 flat. And he was kind of low as people were selling his cards. So I would expect to see some more selling on this Foden um, a little bit today because a Foden Inform is going to be 87 rated. It may not be as good as this uh, Rule Breakers Foden card, but it's going to be a lot cheaper. Like even if it's a center attacking mid, it's probably going to come on the market today and be like less than 100K and over the weekend probably drop to be like 50, 60,000 coins uh, for an Inform Foden 87 rated. So I think there's still some more panic selling to come on some of these cards that could be in Team of the Week today. Now, uh, speaking of that Conte card, a lot of times what you see too is um, gold cards. People buy the gold cards that you know are going out of packs. So Conte's gold has gone from 150K. He was 150K on Monday. He is now 177,000 coins, I believe. He is up like almost 20,000 coins in price and people are probably gonna continue buying this um, because he links to the brand new SPC that we got yesterday. But that's that was another area of the market that moved a lot was this Conte gold started going up as people expect him to go out of packs. Salah's gold card is starting to go up. I snagged one of those last night at like 79,000 coins. Um, I believe it was, yeah, 80,000 coins. I got a couple actually, 79, 80,000 coins for this Salah. I think he's like 85K. Um, and Van Dyke is a good example of what happens with popular Premier League players. Uh, Van Dyke, I bought this for 49,000 coins. He was like 46, 47K before his um, headliners card came out into the game for his gold item. And then this gold card goes out of packs and the gold Van Dyke, I believe, was like 57K at one point. So this Van Dyke was even like 40,000 coins earlier in the week before he was put out into packs. So this guy has gone up a lot in price. So I'm going to sell these again before he comes back into packs when Headliners Team 2 is released, of course. But that's why people are investing in some of those higher Premier League gold cards is because they just they just rise out of packs because a lot of people still use them in their teams and there's there's demand for them. So that's why you see those rises happening on this market and on this game. Now, let's talk about Wednesday content today and also look at yesterday's content, the Odson Edward SBC. Now, a lot of people are saying, hey, should I do this or should I have Benzema in my team? And honestly, I think Benzema is still the better card here. But this is a cool card. It really is. And I, I, I can't say much else other than that. The reactions and the attack positioning um, are what everybody's going to look at and say, hey, this card is not as good as Benzema or it's not that good. 92 composure. He's got finesse shot trait. He's got pace. Um, he's got really good agility balance, really good strength. It's an interesting card. It's got a really sick dynamic image as well. You can't see it unless you go to right here on this little side tab. I don't know. That dynamic image just looks really dope. It's only out for a week, but it's a cool SBC, right? GG's EA, it's cool. It's not bad. But that wasn't the SBC that people got all excited about yesterday. The 84 plus player pick rose some of the fodder market. If you had 84s, uh, you were loving this SBC yesterday because 84s went up a decent amount of price and so did informs. If we take a look at the fodder market, you can see the 84s were the biggest risers because that SBC required an 83 squad and a team of the week. The 84 index went from 112 points all the way up to where it is now at 130. 84s are now running you about two and a half thousand coins a piece. And I believe that informs are all like 12 to 13K as well. So some of those went up two, three, four thousand coins a card. Uh, some informs are selling at like 14 to 15,000 coins. So that's kind of how the market moved yesterday. There wasn't really a lot of panic. I bought some cards, traded with a few things, made a little bit of profit, but it definitely wasn't as crazy as Monday with that mid icon, right? Just because a lot, a lot of people can just go do an 84 plus player pick really easy from the club or, you know, it doesn't cost them many coins. Whereas a mid icon SBC, that requires a lot of people to sell cards, then they had to go back out and buy them back after they do the SBC. So moving on to, into today, again, one other thing that we have to talk about are the headliner cards. And I think I'm going to focus on this a little bit more on tomorrow's video. But since technically later on tonight, Wednesday night late or Thursday morning early, whatever you are in the world, we have rewards. Um, today and tomorrow, we're going to be interesting days for investing in these headliner cards. Uh, now, you know, these cards are live. And the first thing I'm going to say is, and we'll talk about it more tomorrow again, is that live cards almost always do well out of packs. Seriously, they almost always do well because they have that live, you know, 
aspect to them. Now, these cards, of course, they have not been very hyped since day one. There's some cool cards in here, and I think people will want to add these to their squads, um, even in these next couple of weeks. So I do think there's potential for these to rise a little bit out of packs. I don't exactly know what the best time is going to be, though. I think what you're going to really look for in a lot of these cards is you're going to have to see some sort of drop off. Whether it's content today on Wednesday, whether it is some sort of pack supply or panic selling before the pack supply at rewards, or maybe even marquee matchups, right? Marquee matchups coming out on Thursday. If you remember the winter wild cards from Team 2 last week, some of these cards kind of rose up after rewards, but then they went down again. I remember that happened on Sterling. They kind of went down again during marquee matchups, and it presented another buying window, another buy opportunity for some of those cards last week. So I would really... Keep a watch on these headliners if you think that you want to get involved on like a short-term flip into the weekend with these cards. We're going to dive into that more tomorrow. I don't want to spend too much time taking a look at those today. But all I would say is watch for market dips. And if you see a big drop on these cards before rewards, that could be a, a buy time for some of these items. Um, again, the only thing you really have to worry about too is an insane team too that is leaked to be coming out. So again, those are the leaks. That is the team we are expecting. Those cards look really good. They really do. And it seems a lot of times team one of the promo is better than team two. But with all those leaked cards that are coming out soon, um, it seems like team two really could be pretty hype. I know we're really getting close uh, into the time frame of like team of the season or sorry, team of the year and stuff like that. And there's already been some talk about dates for team of the year voting coming very soon. So that's, of course, going to be on people's minds as well and on the market but you know i still think there's room for some of these headliner cards to have their kind of moment to shine and a lot of people being excited about them especially after team of the year these cards are going to play a vital part in the market as usually you see the market rise post team of the year so we're gonna have to keep these cards into consideration as they're alive as a lot of people will want to capitalize on that live live aspect of these cards later on in the next few weeks so we're going to keep watching these headliner cards today. Wednesday, you know, Wednesdays on the market are always a little bit of a stale day, to be completely honest. A lot of people end up selling some of the cards from their team because they expect the rewards time frame. They know that they're going to be opening some packs, maybe getting some coins, and they kind of, they kind of move around and they switch up their team. So for a lot of things on the market today, I don't expect a lot of fluctuation. Uh, what I would say to watch out for would be panic selling, right? Uh, whether it's the brand new team of the week that's causing some of that panic or whether it is uh, some of the team two cards. Like again, we talked about like Salah and Kimmich, Vinicius Jr., Cancelo, Barella, all of those cards that are supposedly getting headliners very soon have other special cards. So I would watch out for panic selling on some of these cards as people get more information and see the leaked team. Like this Vinicius Jr. is 470K. Yeah, so he's down like 20K from where he was yesterday. He was around the 490 range um, and he's probably going to stay there, right? So I would keep an eye on all of these special cards that are getting into team two because you're probably going to see some more selling on those. Now, today will still be an interesting day. I don't know what content wise we could be getting. Ooh, that's a big undercut. Uh, if I could sell that at like 480, 490, man, I don't even know if I can sell at 490. You know what? We're just going to buy it anyways because Vinicius at 451. Let's take a look at the flipping graph. Uh, there's 20, 25K of tax. I need like 480 to get that sold. So. He was 480 an hour ago. He was 490 twice yesterday. So he's rare. He's Vinicius Jr. We'll try to sell him for 490. But uh, yeah, just watch the market today. Panic selling is going to create a good opportunity to trade. If Conte's inform comes out and it's super rare and people aren't saving team of the week packs or they don't run any sort of lightning rounds or something like that, and the new Conte is like a million coins today or 800, 900K, this Conte might rebound back a little bit as people still want to use the card and it's way cheaper than his new version. You could see some movements like that, but it should be an interesting Wednesday as we get one day closer to the end of the week. Headliners too. I will keep you guys filled in, of course, if we see any more leak information. I usually don't tweet a lot of that stuff out, but we cover it here in the videos because it absolutely moves the market and there's absolutely a lot of stuff moving this market right now because of the leaks. So that is the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.